Hello everybody and welcome to creativity time. Today in this video we will be creating a snowflake Christmas card that is a wreath, so a snowflake wreath. My name is Tatiana, I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator in Australia and I love to create, I love paper crafting and my current passion is making cards because you can make a card and then send it to someone to brighten their days. Um, you know you're watching live if you see the little red live there otherwise you're watching the recording but still say hi I love seeing all your comments and I do reply back um, I've had a nice lovely two-week break because of the school holidays here in Australia and I'm ready to start the creativity again so let's head to the craft desk and get started great today we will use the new snowflake wishes stamp set it is from the July, no, from the August to December mini catalog from Stamping Up. If you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator and you are in, you are in Australia, I'll be more than happy to send you a copy of this catalog. And snowflakes are a special thing, I think. I love having snowflakes around, even though we don't really have them much here, particularly where I am in Australia. I have my Stamparatus all ready to go here. I've got the foam mat because it's a photopolymer stamp set and this is my offset wreath template which you can get for free off my blog. And we're going to create a wreath of snowflakes. Let's see, I need my second magnet to place to keep this bit there and we also need Stamp set. So I'm going to choose. Sorry, I want a really big snowflake. <laughs> decisions, decisions. I'm going to start with a big snowflake. I'm going to layer it up and place that snowflake. Oh, let's go right to the outskirts, right there. Grab it. And what we will do is stamp off the first layer so that it's a little bit lighter. So I've got my grid paper and I'm going to use Balmy Blue ink. Because that's my favourite blue. So ink. Ink up. And I'm going to stamp once on the grid paper. And then... I will slip the grid paper behind because that one goes off the edge and stamp again beautiful now I've got the corners marked so you pick the top left hand corner and I've got numbers to show you where to place the paper next to create that wreath now I'm just going to check that is going to overlap so I'm going to skip I'm going to go on to number three you don't have to do all of the steps you can skip some and get a wide variety of looks so again ink stamp off and then stamp three four five line that up ink off. Have you started making your Christmas cards? I've got a few but I need like a hundred more. <laughs> need to keep making some more. I don't think that if I skip over to number seven will that oh there will be a little bit of a snowflake so we'll repeat the process. Do you send Christmas cards? Here's an interesting discussion topic of discussion. Have you been sending Christmas cards over the last couple of years? I love sending Christmas cards and since I've been married I have sent I think it was only one year that I was just not capable of sending Christmas cards and I love that now I make the Christmas cards that I send no more store-bought cards for me okay so we've gone around and I know that it's not looking quite like a wreath yet but what we're going to do is give that stamp a little bit of a clean first And we're going to place that same stamp in the up in that little area that didn't quite work out. 
perfect i love that position all right there pick it up now the paper does move but we can reposition all of that it doesn't really matter and again every second one and stamping off stamp so one skip two go to three I've laminated my template because it means that I don't have to reprint it constantly if I get ink on it, but it does make it a little bit slippery. So that's really up to you. If you when you download the template from my blog, it's up to you whether you decide to laminate it or keep it as is. Three, skip four, we went to five. some go. got a bit of a wreath starting to happen now we're going to take a different snowflake and stamp that around but this time in full strength balmy blue so we've got the large snowflakes in the background and I off stamped off first to create that lighter color so that they go they sit behind basically and now we're going to find a snowflake that's smaller in size so that was the one we just used and we'll take this one because it's got some nice heavy outlines and we'll place it right there pick that up Now we can repeat the process, but this time we don't have to stamp off. So stamp. Two. It's a lot quicker when you're not stamping off. Two. Three. Six will go off the edge, so I'm going to pop the grid paper just to not get ink. Because it's laminated, the ink will rub off really easily, which is great for cleanup, but it's also perfect for picking up on fingers. And I don't want it on my fingers. Now, seven will be no use. I'll just show you there, but I'll need number eight because will need to go there. Hi Elfie, how are you? I saw that it's your two year anniversary since you visited the land of Down Under. How exciting. So it's almost two years since we've met in person. So there we go, we've got this beautiful wreath of snowflakes happening and I'd like to add one more layer of snowflakes stamping before we move on to adding um, some on top. Hi Sherry, thanks for saying hi. Hope everyone is well. People are hopping on. I am back from a two week break. I've had a wonderful time during the school holidays with my kiddos. Love spending time with them. We actually went away for a bit. Um, I'm going to do these ones, these little ones little flurry of snowflakes let's see yeah or shall I go this way let's have them go this way I know that's so 
so fast, Elfie. I can't believe it. What an adventure you had, really. That was amazing. It was so great to spend time with you. So again, I'm using the full strength ink. One. I probably should stop counting. You guys know how to count. <laughs> you have experience in this department. <laughs> it's not, I count out loud just for myself more than anything. Cause I can get distracted with the cameras and the ink and isn't that looking pretty? And then after we've stamped this, what we're going to do is we're going to spritz this with the Stampin' Spritzer, which has rubbing alcohol in it and some frost white shimmer paint, which a few weeks ago I created that particular shimmer combination live on here on Facebook. It was the Snowflake Shaper card. Something about shimmer and snowflakes goes super well together. So you can go back and see how I did that. But it creates this beautiful shimmer. And I just thought that would be really lovely to have here. Again, skipping seven and going on to eight. I know I could have positioned it right at one so that I don't have to do that. But I like positioning fully on the paper before. And not have it coming off the edge. A tiny bit catches. Pretty, pretty snowflakes. Okay, close the ink. And take my chamois to clean this up. And we are going to make this sh 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 shimmer. I'll put that away. Let's put that away. And <laughs> um, Elsie, it's not Featherland, it's um, Featherdale, but <laughs> I love it, Featherland. It's more than just birds. It was Australian animals. There we go, I'm just grabbing some, okay, perfect. This is my pile of scrap grid paper. I'm just gonna give my spritzer a shake so that all that shimmer and shine is distributed throughout the spritzer and just at a little bit of a distance spritz it it does curve now the ink doesn't bleed because it's got alcohol and the ink is water based but can you see that shine and shimmer now and as it dries it will uncurve so I've done that now while we do the prep for the rest of the card but can you yeah you can see that when the light catches that it is just super duper shimmery and I love it. So we're going to put that to the side to dry and we're going to create the card base. I need a balmy blue paper. Wasn't so prepared today. So I've got A4. And what I do is, because you can get two card bases out of this one. So what I do is I score in half first and then I cut. So that way I only have to score once and cut once to get two card bases out. That's okay, Alfie. You don't have to get it right every time. But it was Featherdale. Beautiful zoo in Sydney. And nice and small so you can do it in a few hours. And yeah, I love going there particularly with um, international guests. That's my card base. We are going to grab, I have pre-cut Whisper Whites. So the card front that we did was the same size, which will sit like that, but we'll put this one on the inside. But like I like to say, no card is complete until you decorate the inside and the envelope. So that's what we shall do now. Grab the envelope and the card base. This is going to be very balmy blue in color. Where did I put the ink pad? There it is. And 
and I'm going to grab what big snowflake did I use first? See, this is the one we've spritzed and you can see it's already flattening out. So we spritzed, not spritzed, we stamped which big snowflake? This is the big snowflake we stamped. I'm going to put that on a block now. stamp it twice as well there and I'm going to go with the top right hand corner left hand corner of the envelope one and two it's very coordinating insert so if I'm finished with something and it's ready to go I like to attach it to my project that way a I don't lose it on my desk which is tidy at the moment but not always the case and B that way I know it's all ready to rumble now that's nice and dry so we can add that now you can decide which way you like it you can I know we created it in this kind of direction with one being up in that corner but you can also flip it and I'm going to flip mine I'm going to adhere that nice and flat see that was quite quick in drying so for those who are joining I did stamp three and then spritz it with rubbing alcohol and frost white shimmer paper, uh, shimmer paint to create that beautiful shine and shimmer. And it dried super quick. Now let's see. I've got this bucket of snowflakes. I was going to add some more snowflakes. I don't like the big ones there. So this is snowflakes that have been die cut from balmy blue shimmer uh, glimmer paper not shimmer paper but I feel like all of those are too big for this particular card so let's bring in the dies they're they're called snow so many snowflakes let's see this one would be the perfect size we're going to have to cut some more that's okay, super easy to do. We'll grab the, well, I call mine Bailey. It's the stamp and cut and gloss machine. And he's my best friend when it comes to crafting. Grab the plates. And of course we need the glimmer paper. you'll see I have well loved die cutting snowflakes out of and we'll need about six from memory one. take my take your pick tool Eject the snowflakes. Hello, Patricia from Indiana. How are you? Are you anywhere near all those awful fi uh, fires? Oh, I'm sorry, my geography of America is very limited. That's okay. It doesn't matter if you're late. Doesn't matter if you watch the replay, it doesn't, it's all good. You still get to partake in the experience either way. So I'm just die cutting some snowflakes so that we can add them on top for some extra layers. In fact, we will 
do something really fun. It will require a little bit of die cutting, but it'll be worth it. Oh good, no fires here. That's great to hear. We did the whole fire thing. Well, we did the whole fire thing. We had awful fires this time last year. This time last year, well, we had fires start in July, which is our winter. That was no fun. And then just before on stage last year, so on stage is the stamping up conference for demonstrators, and that's always held in November. But just before then, fires got really bad and my husband shipped me to Sydney and the kids um, just to keep us out of harm's way. And then between Christmas and New Year, there were worse, not here, but in other parts. Yeah, horrible things, fires. Did not enjoy that experience. It was really eerie here one day. It was all so orange smoke was so heavy just one more after this so it's going to be super shimmery sparkly blue snowflake card and then what I'm going to do now, I know that it's probably crazy the way I do this next bit. I'm precursing, but that's the way I roll. Erin, if you're still watching, you can vouch for that. Erin <laughs> has known me for a while, um, but it makes sense to me, and that's why I continue to do it. So I want those snowflakes that we've just die cut up out, um, popped up using some... But dimensionals just would be just too fiddly because they're so delicate and that. So now we have foam, where did I put it there? We have this fantastic product called foam adhesive sheets. And what you can do is remove the adhesive and stick the paper down first and then die cut the paper and the foam at once. But I don't do that because, yes, it's twice as much work, but... By doing it the way I do, any leftover foam can then be used in the back of a project and you can, I'm going to carefully remove that, let's see, can I keep it, my idea, ideal is to keep that in there for now. So if I had put paper on this, that means that all that paper and all that foam adhesive that surrounds the snowflake gets left behind and you can't really do much with it but by doing it this way die cutting the paper and the foam separately I can now use the negative or the leftover foam on inside to use on the back of a card where I need a lot of dimensionals and nobody will be the wiser and it just means that I'm using up all of my product and not wasting or wasting very little of it which I love I love being able to use something up completely just like the dimensionals where I say don't throw out the edges use them as well so one two three four five six Keep that there, grab this bit, and three more. And then I keep it in, I try to keep it in there because then to attach the snowflake to the foam is super easy when it's still sitting inside the main foam sheet. So you'll see what I mean in a minute. And it all may sound a little crazy but your take your pick tool is like your best friend here it really really helps hey I was gonna call you Betty but ah hey Kelly what's up you've caught 
caught me live. I thought I saw your profile giving me a thumbs up. That is awesome. And those little bits keep coming out, but that's okay. We don't need them. One more. And then we'll get back to the fun, fun crafting thing. You can have a rest. There. Okay. And now I use my take your pick tool to peel back the release paper on the top. But the foam was still in there. And by keeping it in here, it just allows you to line it up a lot easier than if it was pulled out. So take your snowflake and place it in. And I do this with alphabet as well. I've, I've shared this trick and tip before. Oh, that's still got some release paper. See how the take your pick tool comes in super duper handy. Next three. See, super easy. If I'd pulled the foam out, I wouldn't have that guide of where to stick. So yeah, there's my top tip for today. And then I can use the foam for other things. I can still die cut something else from that one. And now we can pop them out. I use that for when I'm when I want to put a whole card front on adhesive back or a big panel I'll just use that there's no problems with having little gaps in between but it's a bit more stable than just the little hexagon hexagon dimensionals And I've just got to make sure I pop out those center bits. So release the paper from the other side. The center bits are being a little painful. your snowflake onto your project now I may you may think that was all crazy but I really 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 love the way that looks that dimension and so there's absolutely no regret on my end for spending that little bit of extra time doing that maybe popping out those middle bits first before adding the glimmer paper on top would have been good live and learn never done it with these snowflakes I'm trying to position it very similarly across or around the wreath you can see I've got it between those two snowflakes with a point
Hey Tan, how's it going? Hope you are settling into the new place. Or have I? You've moved just as much as I have. I feel for you. Fourth, fourth. One more. Doing a quick tidy up before I do the next snowflake. Good tack on it, which is good for your projects. Not good for getting these little bits out. Can't do it till that bit's gone. Aha, got it. Stole away stuff behind. Don't think you're sure either. Yes, I talk to my projects. Always have, probably always will. That is me. So there's a little bit of fiddling involved. It is a very fiddly die cut as well. Um, with the alphabet, it's a lot easier. That one there and we'll trim off We'll trim off the edge a bit. I think like pushing it the other way would help. Can you see what I'm doing when I'm doing it? There's one always that comes off the edge when I do this, just with the way it lays out. So if you flip to the back, you can follow the line of the cardstock to trim that quite easily. Okay, push all that like that. Now, I'd like to add a bow. This is the Snowflake Splendor Ribbon. It is shimmery and pretty. And what I'm going to do is tie a bow. So I don't cut it off the spool until after I've tied the bow. That way any at least on one side, any excess won't be wasted. Hey Vicky, morning to you, how are you? There we go. And trim that side nicely. 
And now this side. And see, if I'd cut the ribbon ahead of time, I would have two tails that I'm throwing out. Now I only have one. I am well, and I like the bow to go right there. Take a whoo, bounce, bounce blue dot. So this ribbon's kind of um, it's not soft and flowy. It's kind of stiff and shimmery, but beautiful. That is not a criticism by any stretch of the imagination. It is a lovely ribbon. And two more things. Firstly, we're gonna add some adhesive back snowflakes. And the other thing is that we need a sentiment. So let's um, find a sentiment first. May your season sparkle or snowflake wishes for a Merry Christmas. Um, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I don't know. The other sentiments are too. I want it to be Christmassy. Snowflake wishes for a Merry Christmas that, that has that Christmas punch. I'm going to grab some. Will that fit on that? Wow, look at that. Scrap piece of Whisper White. Perfect size. Oh. Looking to the balmy blue theme. And stamp. Clean we'll get my fingers into it and I want to keep that nice and I was going to fussy cut around it but I won't keep it simple just use the little trimmer to will sit on that snowflake which is a little bit of a shame but we can bring it up and make it sit here yeah so I'm gonna have that sitting down on the paper here and then up onto the snowflakes and we'll put one dimensional on the back there so that actually look I even keep the insides of the letters That'll be a perfect moment to use that. So what I'll do is I'll put it there. You'll add the glue to the... Oh, come on. Put the glue there. And flush with that edge so that it's a little, almost like a ribbon sentiment. Can you see that coming up? Can you see how it's curving up? Something really cute and different. So your sentiments don't always have to sit flat. They can change. And you don't have to have things behind. You can just add some dimensionals there as part of it. Oh, got a little thing. And then our snowflakes. These have two sheets and I'm just checking, doesn't say, that I know that there's two different colours. I just wanted to confirm the colours. So this is the catalogue that they're all coming from. Snowflake adhesive on um, page 29. Six. 29. Iridescent and just jade. There we go. So I'm going to use the iridescent ones, the more whitey ones. And peel and stick. Peel, stick. 
get the picture. I don't need to keep repeating myself. Thank you, Vicky. I had no idea what I was going to do today. And then I thought, I haven't done a wreath for a while and I need more Christmas cards. And bing, bang, boom. So I might put, you can never have too many snowflakes. And if you wanted, you could have spritzed the sentiment as well. But there we go. I am happy with that. Let's just tidy up a little bit, or well, at least on camera. Make the illusion of cleanliness. Oh, that's still. <laughs> and there is our Christmas wreath snowflake card. I have another Christmas card done. Yay! <laughs> so I'll just bring that up to the camera so you can see. The wreath page, for those joined in later, we did spritz it with alcohol mixed with frost white shimmer paper. And when I hit the right angle there, you can see it. It's all very super shimmery and I just, I think Christmas and shimmery and snowflakes go super duper well together. Thank you, Alfie. Um, you'll be able to purchase any of the products I used here in my online store. I'll pop the link in the video description. And I also do have a customer loyalty program for every $50 you spend. You collect a sticker, collect 10 stickers and get $50 worth of products for free from me as a thank you gift. I hope I have inspired you to take some time to be creative and I'll catch you at the next live. I think I'm doing a Saturday scrapbook Saturday this weekend. Let's see the date. I've got the calendar still in September. 17th. Yes, so I've got a scrapbook Saturday this Saturday. And come back and we'll create a fun double page layout. Hope you have a lovely day and thank you for joining me. Till next time. Bye for now.